Hey guys, it's Tori Ann Perky here with another amazing homeschool resource. I'm so excited to share with you today because ah, it's one of our favorites. Okay, so you may or may not know this about me, but I love music. I love everything about it. I love how it gets into the heart in a way that uh, other types of learning doesn't. I love the fact that it can reach all ages. And I love when you can take music and you can combine it with a subject you're trying to learn and make things a little bit more fun. And so today's resource is all about that. Today's resource is a They Might Be Giants, Here Comes Science. And you guys, this has been so much fun in our homeschool. I want to tell you a little bit about why I like this so much. So first of all, They Might Be Giants. I don't know if you're anything like me, but I loved their music back when I was, you know, like not a mom, but still a teenager. Uh, I listen to their album Flood all the time. And one of the things I really love about They Might Be Giants is they're a super clean group and they have kind of this funky sound. And I don't know if you know this about them, but one of the reasons I like them is because the way they started their group, they had to, they would test their music over answering machines. So if you were a fan, you could listen to their song on their answering machine and then leave a message whether you liked a new song they were working on. And what happened is it forced them to record their music in kind of a funky way that was different than most people were recording back then because of how they were delivering it to their fans. Well, they kept that funky sound. So They Might Be Giants has kind of an interesting different sound and it's always been that way. It's one of the things that sets them apart. A couple years ago, they decided they wanted to start making albums for children. And their first ones were uh, more general children albums and then they started to make these. Oh, so exciting. So tonight, today I'm going to tell you about the science one. This has... The actual album has 19 different tracks, and they cover all different kinds of subjects. There's one on the elements, there's one on blood and how it moves all over, there's one on the electric car, there's one on the planets, uh, there's one on the sun, which actually comes from their uh, earlier album, and then they wrote another one because they the science changed, so they actually had to write an answer to the previous one that wasn't quite correct. I love the fact that they went and did that. There's a Roy, Roy G. Biv, you know, Colors of the rainbow, photosynthesis, cells. Um, as I'm reading these down, I'm hearing the songs in my head. So, you know, photosynthesis, they have this really funky thing where they're like, photosynthesis, photosynth. Anyway, you don't want to hear me sing it because I don't sound like them. Uh, solid liquid gas, uh, computer assisted design. I, okay, I'm hearing that one in my head too. What I love is that my kids, when they were little and younger, loved these songs. Now that they're older, we still like to sing them. And I used to put them on in the car when we were driving and driving and driving. And it was a way for us to do a little bit of school, even when we were, you know, in the car and didn't feel like we could do any school that day. And these songs led us to have conversations about these scientific topics. So it was really easy to segue into something that was a, a little more content heavy. And my kids remember the lyrics off these songs. And as if that wasn't enough, they also made a video that goes along with every single song. So you could actually sample all of the songs ahead of time just to hear what they sound like. You can watch the videos for free on YouTube. Um, so I will uh, find a link and put that somewhere. Anyway, so there's all of these cool things. Now, I will warn you because I know that our community has a really broad spectrum on how we feel about science. There are two songs that depending on how you fall on the whole evolution creation spectrum, you may or may not love these two songs. One is about paleontology and the other one is, um, hold on, hold on, hold on. I had it totally ready. Oh, My Brother the Ape, which they're fun songs, but they do very much approach science from the evolutionary side point. So if you lean more towards the creation side point, you'll want to preview those two songs. I always just used that as an opportunity to explain how our family approaches evolution and science. It gave us an, uh, an easy way to have that conversation and explain that our views were a little bit different than the way they were presented in here. So it wasn't a threatening thing. It was just how we did it. So I cannot even begin to recommend this album enough. Again, super easy. If you're interested, I, I leave a link right below, right? You can go to Amazon. You can check it out. You can, of course, buy the MP3 album. You don't have to actually buy the CD. I mean, these are like ancient, right? Who buys a CD anymore? I think I bought this like 10 years ago. But what's cool about this is it is a DVD as well, which means that all of those cool videos that are on YouTube, you can have access to them without going to YouTube. And I don't know about you, but sometimes I don't want my kids on YouTube. 
Blah! Sometimes I want to be able to contain the content, and that's what this does. All right, super easy way to have some science in your house when you're not feeling like all that science-y. From, I'm Tori I'm Perky, from my homeschool to your homeschool, I am here helping you find awesome resources, skills, and tips that to make your homeschool a super awesome and confident place.